Geneva watch days. Great couple of days. Uh, really loved it. Weather's been brilliant. Um, it's been a blast being with Zach Blass, walking around, um, which has been great. We need to get you some nice wheels. We've got a lovely uh, case back, open case back as well. We've got the nice carbon fiber dial. Yeah. Beautiful chamfers and beveling. The owner here is looking at us like, are they about to try to steal our yeah, car? Yeah. Um, but my top five. It's been tough to whittle it down, but um, I'm definitely, I definitely have a first, first number one, which is a favorite, was the Moses Streamliner Perpetual Calendar. Now for me, um, you know, such a complicated piece and yet it just looks so simple on the wrist. I'm kind of looking at my wrist now thinking like, please be there again. So it's a 42.3 millimeter diameter with a black or um, fume dial. And what I really loved about it was the, it's very much design first over, over you know, branding. They're not being sort of pushing their brand here. And for me, that's, you know, that's a nice touch because it's not showy. And I think a lot of people uh, look, look for that in a watch. Another thing to note, you know, gliding, looking at it was the, integrated steel bracelet, which was really beautiful. Um, felt like a piece of art as I was rolling it around my wrist. And if you look closer, you'll see a small central hand, which very cleverly points to our indices. That tells what month it is as well. I mean, if you were to chuck me off here right now and say, you've got to have one more watch from this thing, it would definitely be that one. Like, it was just, I've still been thinking about it. Like, I did genuinely get lost in that dial. Like, for anyone that can, tell me that they're not going to get lost in that dial, then you need to come talk to me. DM me, do what you like. Number two, Bulgari Aluminium GMT. I got the okay for this, but took, yeah, took the um, Aluminium GMT for a little stroll and no one mugged me, but then I wasn't walking around like this, I must admit. Um, but do you know what? It was sexy. It was cool. It was a piece that you can throw on. You feel like you can wear anywhere. You felt very confident in it. It's like, Oh, what are you wearing? That's good. Oh, I'm wearing the, the you know, the Bulgari Aluminium GMT. That was the vibe I kind of got when I when I had that on. And, and I really, you know, the red and blue colorway. Are there any references to other brands there? Who knows? But I know it's been very popular from last year, and they've gone one step further this year, which is good. So, numéro trois. That's French for number three. In case any Australians didn't know that. First of all, happy happy anniversary. We're big 175 for Julien Snada. So I have the the UN Tourpilo Tourbillon. So last year it was all about the freak. Um, which was pretty, pretty out there, pretty wild. Um, and so, you know, for this piece, adding to the marine collection, I really liked the sophisticatedness of this piece. 18 karat rose gold, 42 millimeter um, diameter, uh, waterproof to 50, 50 meters. Again, another complicated piece, um, but I just loved, I loved how it looked on my wrist and I, I'm stoked for that one. Tourbillons, you know, not for everyone, but I think for me, um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna hit, hit that range, then this is a really, really beautiful piece. And uh, you know, Patrick and his team, I think, have done a great job there. Number four from Breitling. Um, they've gone for a, a trio of racing-inspired pieces. And my favorite was the Ford Mustang, the top-time Ford Mustang. I'm gonna say I've never driven a Ford Mustang, but I really, really like the, the green dial of this one. It's, uh, again, for my wrist, um, you know, I've got a slightly bigger wrist, so the 42 millimeter really works for me. Also really was digging the, um, the calfskin leather strap. Again, really beautiful strap, really beautiful finishing. It's got a power reserve of about 42 hours, I believe, which again is, is, is decent. And then, yeah, with the Breitling uh, Caliber 25, price point's five and a half thousand US dollars, which again, good, good entry level there. I think um, really, really solid piece. Love the collaboration they've got going on with the classic cars. I think it's, a, I think so. I think that's going to really bring an extra edge to it. And uh, people are going to really like that. Last but not least, a bit left field for me, but um, I was pretty wowed by the UAC UR100 Electrum. As I said, like this isn't normally so maybe to my taste, but I just was like, wow, this is pretty awesome. And you know, in, in their words, here comes the sun. Electrum is a very super, it's a super precious material with gold and silver alloy. Um, and it was just a pretty crazy piece to look at and, and admire from uh, right on my wrist. Limited to 25 pieces, really kind of got this kind of out of, out of this world spacey vibe, which I was really, really appreciating. 41 millimeter width by 49.7 millimeter length. So again, sits pretty well on if you've got a, a you know, a slightly larger wrist. Um, and, you know, just the colorways in there was, was popping. So I was a lot of fun, a lot of innovation. Again, quite different to a lot of the other pieces that I, my other four pieces that I picked up. And then obviously, you know, got the, I know it's got the brands have got that affiliation with Tony Stark and Iron Man. So I was like, okay, this is good. This is good. And I've just been thinking about it a lot more since, since I lost Sora. And so that rounds up my top five. It's been emotional. It's also been a pleasure. 
Um, seen a lot of wrists on my watch. A lot of wrists on your watch. That was what I said. <laughs> Had a lot of wrists on my... A lot of wrists on my watch, slash a lot of watches on my wrists. See what I did there? Good, and I'm out, I'm out.